when you're facilitating a remote meeting or sharing your screen on a video call or maybe recording a video tutorial. You often need to annotate on screen and draw your audience attention to a specific portion of what you're sharing. I personally find it very useful to be able to quickly draw an arrow on a video. So instead of saying look at the top left or top right or name the specific part of the equipment that they should look at, I just draw an arrow that immediately catches the audience attention. But you can do exactly the same if you're live sharing any other type of document where you can scribble, highlight or draw shapes. You can do all of this with Epic Pen. In this video I'm going to show you how to install it, demo all the features and if you watch the video till the end I'll show you how to elevate the use of Epic Pen with the Elgato Stream Deck and with the Wacom tablet and stylus. Let's go! To download Epic Pen go to epic-pen.com, click on download for free and you will be brought to the two plan options, the basic one and the pro. The basic is free and it already contains a number of good features. Pen, eraser and highlighter, the screenshot crop tool and access to 16 colors. You can start using the basic version, but I think it's worth upgrading sooner or later to Pro. For 25 francs in Switzerland, about $25, you can get a live license for one machine. The Pro plan includes the pen, eraser and highlighter and the screenshot crop tool as the basic plan and in addition to that it offers lines, squares and circles, text tool, arrow tool, whiteboard, blackboard and 24 colors. So let's go see what these features are and how they work, but first let's download the software. Start by downloading the free version and then you can evaluate yourself whether it's worth for you upgrading to the Pro plan. After you've installed and launched the app, this is what you'll see. It's a very simple and user-friendly interface. The icons are self-explanatory, but let's demo the features. We have a cursor icon if you want the mouse to show the cursor. By clicking the eye icon, you will hide or show all the tools and at the same time you will hide the ink or make it visible again. Now you see that the red arrow that I've just drawn disappeared and that's because I've drawn the arrow with Epic Pen. Let me delete it by clicking on the trash icon. Right below the cursor icon we have the inking tools. There's a pen, a highlighter and a text tool. Let's try to write something. I'm now using the mouse to write. And as you know, writing with a mouse is not really optimal. Here at the bottom you can change the color. So now let's switch to yellow. And now I will use my Wacom tablet and stylus to write a few words more. It's definitely better to write with a stylus. Let's try the highlighter and also change the size of the brush. You can change the size by selecting it on the icon, but you can also do it by scrolling your mouse wheel. So let's pick a pink highlighter and make it a bit thicker, because I want to highlight the sentence a pen for your PC. Let's now insert some text. And again with the mouse wheel we can make it bigger or smaller. With the four arrows icon we can then place it wherever we like. Something to be noted is that once you've placed your text you can't move it anymore. The same thing applies to all inking tools, meaning that they can't be moved around like objects. If you're liking the video so far please hit the like button so more people will be able to see it. The next icon is the shape tool. My favorite one that alone for me is worth upgrading to the pro version is the arrow tool. Just click on the point on the screen where you want the arrow to start from and release it where you want the arrow to point to. Also for the arrow and all other shapes you can change the color and size. The arrow and the other shapes are very useful when you're showing something live on your screen and you want to draw the attention of the audience to a specific point. You can use the arrow on a document like on a presentation or a Word document or an Excel file but also on a video which makes this tool great for video tutorials. You can basically use the Epic Pen on top of everything that is showing on your screen. Here I'm showing you another video of mine where I've made a tutorial on how to create a transparent whiteboard effect. So let's say I'm showing this to you right now and I want to emphasize the word whiteboard. I'll point the attention to my tablet or during the tutorial make it clear what is the portion of the screen I'm referring to. Drawing an arrow and then undoing it or deleting it when it's not needed anymore, it's a very simple but effective tool that will definitely enhance the level of your presentation. The next tool is the eraser tool, which is self-explanatory. We've already seen the size tool and then there are two other useful but obvious tools like the undo and the clear screen one. Below the trash bin we find the blackboard and whiteboard tools. 
By selecting them, it will turn the screen respectively black or white, leaving on top all the inking that we've already done, as well as new inking. By clicking again on the icon, it will bring back the content on the screen. The icon below is the Snapshot tool. It allows you to select a portion of the screen and take a snapshot. You can save it or just copy it to the clipboard. The content that you've inserted on your screen with Epic Pen will remain on the screen until you hide it or delete it, even if you move or resize the application that was open on the screen. In the settings, you can choose some options or enable the ghost mode. It will allow you to hide the Epic Pen toolbar and continue using tools with just hotkeys. Speaking of which, each function has its predefined hotkey. They can be very handy if you're used to work with the keyboard. But what I like the most is to use the Epic Pen in combination with the Elgato Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is a very versatile control pad that has programmable LED keys. So what I've done, I've taken the hotkeys in the settings and programmed one profile of the Stream Deck with the Epic Pen tools. This is very handy and ensures a very smooth workflow when you do on-screen facilitation. If you're interested in the Stream Deck and want to know more about what you can do with it with many other applications like Zoom for example, I'm putting a link to one of my videos in the description below. So just click on the arrow key and draw an arrow. On the circle key and do an ellipse or circle. I can highlight, undo or any other functions without having to move the mouse cursor to the toolbar and clicking on the icon. And if you want to go one step further, if you want to write or draw with Epic Pen, then you could use a drawing tablet and stylus, like the Wacom one that I'm using right now. Epic Pen is great for remote facilitation when you need it quickly on the go. But if you want to use the full power of a whiteboard with sticky notes, connectors and advanced inking tools, then watch this next video on how to create a transparent whiteboard effect with OBS.